this lesson, we are going to list products in the order screen. By the end of this lesson, you will have products in the screen. And when you click on a category, it just filter out the products in this category. Let's implement this feature together. Here is the plan to implement products to show products in the order screen. Let's go to the order screen and for list item inside categories, we are going to attach an event and the event is going to pass the category name to fetch the products based on that category. In the list item, I just add this attribute on click, run this function category click handler and pass the name of category. In category click handler, we are going to implement a very simple function. Let's uh, scroll up right before we turn implement category click handler. I just pass the name of category here and set category name. Let's define it. Const category name. It's a hook and set category name. It's a state. The default value for it is empty string and we need to import it from React. After that, we need to implement a list products. List products accept two parameters. The first one is dispatch from React context. And the next one is category name. Let's go to actions. And right after list categories, define list products. Inside this function, first of all, we need to dispatch product list request. Product list request. Let's go to the constants and I'm going to duplicate categories, request, success and fail and rename them to product here, here and the strings. After that, go back to actions and import it right here. At this point, we are going to send an Ajax request. So create a try catch body. Inside the try part, send an Ajax request to this address slash API slash products and put a courier string like this category equal to category name and the default value for category name is empty string. After getting data, the simple action is going to be dispatching product list success and passing the data as a payload to the dispatch function. Let's import it. And for the error part, we are going to dispatch error action. That's list products. If we check the product API, we get the query a string, get category, and if it does exist, filter products based on categories. Let's go back to order screen and import list products action like this. And category click handler will return list products. In the use effect function, we need to have a condition. If categories does not exist, then list categories. Otherwise, if they are in the screen, then list products like this. So it's very important to pass category name as a dependency list for use effect. By having this, when you change the category by clicking on categories, this function will run again. Great, that's it about fetching data from backend. Let's go to the UI. And as you see here, we have a grid for sidebar and a grid for product list. For product list, what I'm gonna do is to create a typography. Let's import typography 
from material UI and set the style to title and the component is h2 inside that show category name if it does not exist show main menu then greet then create a grid like this it's a container grid because we are going to put foods next to each other that's why we are using grid then use this condition if you are loading products show progress bar if there is an error in loading products show error message otherwise here we are going to list products let's close it and save it inside this part let's use map function on products and convert each product to grids so this is item grid and then close it like this for loading products error products and products we need to fetch them from react context let's go for it I scroll up and find state right after state that category list put state that product list and from product list we are going to fetch products loading and error so this data is coming from the reducer let's go to store.js and inside the store.js like what we have for category list request success and fail we need to have the same idea for products i'm going to duplicate them and rename them to products here here and here let's import them from constant one two and three here it's product list here here and here and it's products not categories and also here oops this one is for categories yeah that's what we added to the reducer for product list request success and fail let's go to order screen and at this point we will have all information and we rename loading to loading products and error to error products we are going to distinguish loading and error in category list from product list let's scroll down and go to the map function here we are going to shape products first of all create a card like this set class name to style that card we need to import it from material ui then create a card action area because it should be clickable inside that create a card media it's gonna show the image of food component is image and the image address is product.image set class name to media2 we will implement a style for card media after creating the structure of products the next step is gonna be creating card content let's import it and save it to format inside card content first of all i'm going to show the product name right after product image it's gonna be like this using typography and set variant to body 2 then create a box like this and set class name to card footer inside box i'm going to show two items next to each other the first one is gonna be product.calorie and the second one is gonna be product.price like this that's it about listing products run the project click here 18 there is an error here it says cannot deconstruct products from product list let's fix this issue by going to initial state of product list go to store.js scroll up 
and find the initial state set product list by default we are going to load products save it let's check the result another error it says cannot access category name before initialization in the order screen at this point let's move it from here to here we are getting request fail with a status code 500 open a new terminal and run server after getting this message refresh the page okay here we have all products let's check the console and the network xhr and refresh aha uh -huh. here we are getting categories but there is no api for products let's see why in the use effect if categories does not exist list categories otherwise list products here we need to add categories to the dependency list by having this when there is a change in category this function will runs again save it and refresh yeah that's it we have foods here let's click on beverages we have only beverages and the title is beverages breakfast and burgers let's add some style to the items open styles right after cart for title set margin to 18 aha uh -huh. here there is a space and that's it uh, let's implement click event on the main menu on the logo we are going to show all products go to order screen scroll down and find the logo for the item here i'm going to copy on click from list item to here and convert it to empty string so if i click here i will get the main menu yeah i will get the main menu here great we implemented least products feature in this lesson that's it about this lesson for next lesson we are going to implement click handler and add product to the order until next lesson bye bye